The wolf has been lurking. Ever since Bigby surprised everyone at the Game Awards in 2019, Telltale has been keeping quiet about the development of The Wolf Among Us 2. Well, I'm happy to say that ends today, right now. We're about to see more, learn more, and sink our fangs into what's next for Telltale. I'm Jeff Keeley, and before we get to everything else, and we've got a lot of information to share today, this is what you've been waiting for, the first official trailer for The Wolf Among Us 2. You're listed here as a private investigator. What does that sort of work entail? Depends on the night. Most nights it's watching, waiting for a slip up. I don't know, someone gets greedy, someone gets brave. And that's what you were doing the night of the incident. Yeah. Took me weeks to track them down. They hadn't cast so much as a shadow. Till that night. You've been hesitant to share with us. I assume it has something to do with confidentiality associated with the job. Something like that. Your boss, Miss White, said things didn't go as planned. She mentioned that there was some violence. In the moment 
Notice when you find yourself losing control. How does the anger manifest itself? was a lot to unpack happening in this new trailer. There's a whole bunch of new fables we're seeing. Big B's in, looks like anger management in a new setting, and this is all done in a whole new engine, on Real Engine. I have so many questions here, as I'm sure you guys do, but I should probably back up for a second. Nine years ago, Telltale brought the Fables comics to life with the very first episode of The Wolf Among Us in October of 2013, nearly a decade ago. It captured gamers' imaginations that fairy tale fables are in fact real and living in New York City. Over nine months, Bigby's story played out, winning the hearts of gamers with Telltale's signature narrative style in an amazing comic noir presentation. Then, unfortunately, came the bad news. While a sequel was announced, the original Telltale shut down in 2018. A little over a year later, at the Game Awards in December of 2019, it was official. Telltale was reborn, and with it, Production of a brand new season of The Wolf Among Us 2 was about to start. After that brief teaser at the show, Telltale went to work on The Wolf Among Us 2, keeping relatively silent until now. To talk more about why and what's been happening in the background, we've got Telltale CEO Jamie Audley and Nick Herman from Ad Hoc to answer some of the big questions that everyone's been asking. Now they can finally talk about it to tell us more about the why and what's been happening in the background. We've got Telltale CEO Jamie Audley and Nick Herman from Ad Hoc who are co-developing the game with Telltale. You guys were a lot of the folks that worked on the original season one of The Wolf Among Us. And now for season two, everyone has so many questions based on this trailer. But before we get into the content, Jamie, let's, let's talk about where are we right now? Well, we're actually in the game right now. So this is a virtual set. Uh, this is Godmothers, which is a quintessential New York dive bar. But now redone in beautiful Unreal Engine. One of the things that we're also excited about, especially seeing the trailer, it's like how faithful it is to the original season one, but you know, enhanced graphics, but still an amazing story, which is why we're all here for Telltale. We love the story and the characters. So Nick, tell us a bit about the story. Like, What, what can you tell us about season two? Uh, well, you know, as we saw in the trailer, Bigby's um, in anger management. He's um, kind of dealing with a lot of those issues still. And, um, you know, season two is, is you know, still a, a prequel to the comics, but it takes place about six months after um, season one and kind of like de the dead of winter. Um, and, you know, if people have seen his new look, he's got that, he's got that coat to keep him, keep him warm. Now, you mentioned uh, six months between the end of season one and the start of season two. Can you at least tell us a little bit of what these characters have been up to in the intervening six months? Yeah, I mean, Bigby, um, as you saw, is, is now kind of in anger management, but kind of more importantly, he's been suspended from his role as sheriff and it's like protector of Fable Town. Yeah. Um, and, and Snow White, you know, at the end of uh, season one, Snow White has kind of found herself in this new role as deputy mayor because, you know, this sort of old administration is out, they were corrupt, and, and, and we kind of rooted that out. And, She's got to fill those shoes now, and she's kind of got some big ideas on how that's going to happen, but it, it clashes with Big B's yes. way of doing things. He's not uh, um, super uh, personable and, and kind of results to some, some, some tactics that are less than uh, kosher. So there's, that, there's a little bit of tension there, and, and now he's in a new situation where he's not in, in Fable Town and he's kind of out yeah. there, and that leads him to meet this detective yeah. who um, is working on this case that kind of blurs the lines between uh, the Fable and Mundy world. Well, of course, everyone wants to know which characters, which fables are going to be represented in this game. You know, we knew he would be back, but beyond that, um, what can you tell us about like which characters are returning? You talked about Snow, obviously, like there's you know certain characters that we would expect to be there, but can you confirm anyone that that is going to be there is sure. not going to be there? Can you deny? Can you say who's not in the game? <laughs> <laughs> We could, we could probably talk a little bit about who else is going to be there. Okay. Obviously, as you said, uh, Big Bean Snow will be back reprising their roles. Um, and then there's some fan favorites like Buffkin uh, that'll be there. And then there's some new characters that we're, that we're introducing that you'll see in the trailer. 
Um, do you have any favorites from season one? I was going to say there's some T's of, maybe some Oz-related things, right? There are some Oz characters in the, in the uh, game. They're a big addition. So if they're in the trailer, does that mean they might be in the I game? I think we can probably <laughs> confirm that. I probably confirm. We probably just showed you that. So but that, yeah. well, that's, that's part of what I think everyone's loved about this series is so many of the, you know, the classic fables represented. And for you guys looking at this, I mean, that's part of the fun of this, right, is picking where the story is going to go. And what I love is that, you know, you're not just telling the comics again. So you, you have a lot of creative storytelling freedom to sort of come up with this, and that must be I mean, part of the fun of this series, right, is you can kind of pull from anything, right? Yeah, and you know, one of the best you know, parts about Fables is how they sort of subvert your expectations of what these characters are actually like and what yeah. they would be like now um, you know, versus the old, old sort of Fables from the, you know, over in Europe, and, and now it's modernized, and they've changed. They're maybe, yeah. maybe they were that person, but now they're not. You can look at Bigby. He's a yeah. classic example. Um, but yeah, and, and you know the, the other sort of big character that we're introducing is um, a detective, uh, Fei Liang. She's a NYC, uh, New York City police detective who's basically in the middle of uh, a case that doesn't quite look right. And once Bigby gets his eyes on it, it's like clear, oh, like something's leaking out uh -huh. into, into the city. Um, yeah. So like Oz characters, we talked about that. Um, they're going to be in there doing, I don't know how much you can say, like is this... Are we looking just at like episode one here in this trailer, or is this kind of across the season, or like what can you tell us? The trailer's pretty focused on episode one to okay. set up where we're going in this season. Okay. Yeah, so. yeah, but I mean, if, if they're in the beginning, you could probably expect to see them again a little bit later. We would hope so. I, I don't think we would introduce such cool characters and then <laughs> <laughs> not use them. Not yeah. use them. Never know what happens in episode one, right? <laughs> that's it's true. like everything could change. But no, that's part of the thing I think is people know you're doing it episodically, yeah. uh, and everyone I think is also curious about what the cadence of this is going to be and how you guys are developing it. You know, you're, Telltale is known for incredible episodic games, and that's one thing, Jamie, we should talk about. Like, this is the, the new Telltale, and you're using a new engine, which yep. everyone's really excited about with Unreal. So yep. that's, is that probably the biggest shift is, like, moving to, you know, new technology finally? Uh, that's a big part of it. We've developed a lot of tools to enable content creation kind of an iteration quickly around Unreal Engine. Yeah. Uh, so it really lets us focus on what's unique to Telltale games, or in the case of Wolf, we needed a specific renderer to get the lighting and the look correct in, in Unreal. And then Unreal takes a lot of heavy lifting off of our shoulders, right? It, it just works. Yeah. So we can focus on what we need to do to make the game work. From a, a gameplay perspective, though, can you talk a little bit about like the Telltale style? Um, it's still the same gameplay style in terms of you know dialogue and choices and things like that. Like, is, yeah. With Unreal, does it allow more kind of Gameplay for life. It, of it definitely yeah. gives us more options, but yeah. I mean, you know, people should, you know, I, I think there's there's a delicate balance we're gonna have to walk of like, you know, taking advantage of all this sort of new opportunity right. and, and space, for, um, but also, you know, not a third it, person action game. Yeah, yeah, you know, we got to keep it sort of uh, rooted in its foundation yeah. and like what people loved about the first one. But there are definitely gonna be some additions. There's gonna be some, you know, we we, we took a look at everything and we kind of <laughs> assess whether or not it was intentional or if it was something that was just the way we had to make it, you know, prior games. Well, and the thing that we all want is great stories and great voices, and we're really excited that two of the actors from the original series are back again as Big B and Snow, and we're going to hear from them right now. As promised, we've got Bigby himself, Adam Harrington, and Snow White, voiced by Aaron Yvette, with us today. Adam, Aaron, first of all, welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. <laughs> we've, we've waited a decade for uh, <laughs> this. How does it feel for you guys to be sort of re-entering this world and, and, and bring these characters to life again? You know, to be honest, uh, even though it has been nearly a decade, it doesn't feel like re-entering for me. And I imagine Aaron might feel the same. We became so close with these characters and spent so much time with them, uh, not to mention all the other work we've done with Telltale, that it becomes more like family. The characters, uh, the folks at Telltale we're working with. Um, so it really is, it's like coming home. Um, but uh, that being said, even if, if there was still some problem and we're still trying to get it done, the fans are going to make sure that it gets done. Our heads are going to roll. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very high expectations. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like Adam said, it's like seeing your best friend after nine years. You might have an awkward hug at the beginning, but you fall right back into that rhythm. I mean, it's, it's in our hearts. And yeah, I'm a, I'm a player and a fan of the series too, so I'm right with the fans. I am very excited for a season two that I think we all deserve. And 
your characters, I'm sure you were curious about where the writers were going to take them yeah. in season two. We know that this is six months sort of after the end of season one, so I don't know what you can say of what you've recorded or what you know, but uh, can you give us a little bit on sort of, you know, the, where the characters are at? Well, I can say you can expect some conflict. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, the, the boss lady here, it turns out, has uh, put our favorite sheriff on a, kind of a timeout. So the players will be able to expect to explore more about Bigby than maybe they were able to in the first season and uh, really let him sort of branch out into the bigger world, figure out uh, what he thinks is right and wrong, what he thinks is good and bad. Yeah. Versus what Snow tells him is good and bad. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, conflict. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think there's going to be a, a shift in the dynamic between the two of them. I mean, in season one, Snow is just finding her footing at the business office, and together they uncover all this corruption, which Snow is driven to do something about, but doesn't quite know how. So in season two, we see she's now deputy mayor. She's stepped up. She has power now. And I don't think she, she, she doesn't want to blow it. So she doesn't want to be seen as playing favorites. And that might add some tension to their relationship. God forbid. <laughs> well, I, I, I love that you guys are back right at it as you were in the season one. And then all these new characters, I mean, we saw hints of Wizard of Oz, other yeah. characters coming into the mix. So I think it's going to be fun for you to see. It, do you have any sense of? Where, where they were going with season two? Like when they first told you, you've known for a while, obviously it's coming back, but you've, yeah. like, all of us have waited a couple of years since that first tease in 2019. Um, do you have any sense of where this is going? <laughs> I mean, we, when we saw the teaser, we just knew, okay, so Snow, is coming back. Snow, yeah, has, this is actually Snow happening. needs Big B, and there's maybe some conflict between right. Big B's natural tendencies, you know, how far he has to go to get things done versus what Snow thinks is. Uh, allowed, um, and that maybe they're both going to have to test their limits here. Yeah, definitely, especially Bigby apparently, because he definitely gets a slap. <laughs> maybe he's on already the tested the limits yeah, exactly. a little too far. <laughs> a little too far. Exactly. But you guys are on talking terms, and you're um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. In the middle of making this right now, I know you're busy recording. You know, putting together all these, uh, you know, the amazing dialogue and, and all the fun oh, stuff. Thank God. Be. I know, but that's uh, that's a great thing for fans today. It's like we saw the trailer. The game looks amazing. Yeah. You guys are in the studio now, working on it, and 2023. We're going to get five new episodes. Can't wait. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> no. All right. Well, thanks, guys. And we look forward Thank to uh, hearing you uh, next year in The Wolf Among Us Season 2. Yeah. It will be worth the wait. Yeah. Mondays. I, I, I can't wait for people to play it. <laughs>
Well, we're in, I mean, we're in production. We're actively doing motion capture shoots and, and putting together the, the game. Um, and we haven't named a date in 2023 yet because yeah. we'll ship it when it's right yeah. instead of when we need to. No, but it's nice to, it feels like, you know, you've got the stories outlined, as you said. Now it's really just sort of piecing that all together and figuring out the cadence. And has there been a lot of, like, iteration or rewriting, or what's the process been like? Um, yeah, a little bit, but really it's like because we've had the scripts for so long, we've been able to look at it. And, and our games, since they're so focused on the story and the characters, we're able to kind of play test it with a script. You know, it's not like you necessarily need to have everything, yeah. you know, in visual form, although that's obviously going to be in another stage of this. But, um, you know, we're, yeah, we're, we're happy with what we have. And we're now just at the point where we just got to make it you know, on, put it on the screen. And, and being episodic, I know one of the things that, I guess sometimes was an advantage back in the day was like you could take feedback from people on one episode and inform the next one, right, or the story or whatever. You're yeah. still planning to do this as episodes, but like more compressed, like all, all together, right? Yeah, we'll release episodically, but we'll be done with all the episodes before we release the first one. So it'll be a regular cadence. Okay. Uh, we're really after, you know, giving the audience the, the water cooler moments where they can discuss what happened last week or the week okay. prior and, and anticipate what's coming in the next episode. Interesting. This is interesting when you say, like, you're going to effectively have them all finish and then release them out there. So what yeah. does that mean, Nick, in terms of, like, cadence? Is that, it's like, it sounds like you're talking about number of weeks sort of like streaming shows that they'll come out? Uh, no, I think so, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know if we have it exactly nailed down just yet, but you know, I think iteration was always key at Telltale to make these things work, so we're just taking that iteration and bringing it you know, internal instead of sort of blasting it out to everyone. We kind yeah. of sort of take that process and just make, put it in a space where we can you know, be, you know, make sure the quality is reliable and, yeah. and we get, still get the feedback from our fans. I love that though as a true season, as you said, like water cooler wise, like hey, here's a couple months where we're gonna get to play all this together as yep. a community and enjoy it. Um, one other thing we should talk about is last year at the Game Awards, we announced another Telltale project mm -hmm. that you're working on, Expanse. Yep. And, you know, I'm sure some fans are like, is that going to impact, you know, the development of Wolf Among Us? Can you maybe outline sort of like, that's a different team, right, that's working on that, yep. but Telltale is still at the core of it. How are you managing the development of those two things? So we really, when, when we wanted to restart Telltale, creative empowerment was central to, to what we wanted to, to have as a pillar for the company. And so uh, Nick and the team at Ad Hoc are leading the creative efforts on Wolf Among Us 2, but we've partnered uh, with Deck Nine. Uh, we're all fans of the Life is Strange series. Yeah. Um, and so they're, uh, they're doing the Expanse game. So it's a separate team. Yeah. Uh, it's really allowing a new creative voice to tell a telltale story. Yeah, well, it's great that you have both these things, and I'm sure many other things kind of percolating around Telltale mm -hmm. and, and bringing awesome stories to life. I mean, I grew up loving adventure games. That's really what got me into the industry and the fact that you guys have you know, been carrying that torch forward for so many years and now in this new world with all this amazing technology and you know the trailer looks incredible so we can't wait to uh, play it next year, right? <laughs> Just a little longer. A little longer. All right, well, thanks guys so much for giving us thanks. a first look at uh, The Wolf Among Us season two. We cannot wait to play this in 2023. Uh, good luck in the final stretches of development here. Anything else to add before we, we wrap this up? Yeah, uh, two things really. One, okay. uh, we really wanted to say thank you to our fans and the community um, and for the support that we've enjoyed in getting this far along. We can't wait to share Wolf Among Us season two with you. Yeah. Um, and then uh, we have a piece of key art that we're going to drop that shows Big B maybe split between the two worlds that he has to live in. Uh, and you'll be able to find that on Telltale social channels shortly after this. All right. Well, we've got key art. We've got a trailer. We've got a date. Things are moving <laughs> in the right direction for <laughs> yeah. Wolf Among Us, too. And thank you, guys. I know how hard it is still to make games work from home and with the pandemic and everything. So uh, the fact that you guys have pulled this together, I know we're all just waiting with uh, great anticipation for 2023 to play it. So thanks, Thank guys. Uh, awesome stuff. All right. Well, while we've been talking about the long-awaited sequel to The Wolf Among Us, The Fables Comics it's based upon is also making a return. In case you missed it, Fables 151 continues the series this May, 20 years after the first issue hit stands. So be sure to keep an eye out for that as well. Thanks so much for joining us today to learn more about The Wolf Among Us 2. There is much more to be done before the game is ready to launch in 2023. I know that I'm looking forward to seeing more later this year. Once again, here's the first official trailer built entirely in game, giving us our first takes of The Wolf Among Us, season two. You're listed here as a private investigator. What does that sort of work entail? Depends on the night. Most nights, it's watching, waiting for a slip-up. 
I don't know, someone gets greedy, someone gets brave. And that's what you were doing the night of the incident. Yeah. Took me weeks to track them down. They hadn't cast so much as a shadow. Till that night. You've been hesitant to share with us. I assume it has something to do with confidentiality associated with the job. Something like that. Your boss, Miss White, said things didn't go as planned. She mentioned that there was some violence. In the moments when you find yourself losing control. How does the anger manifest itself?